it is. This is what we're here for today. Welcome back to the homestead. So today is kind of a cloudy, rainy day. So I thought I'd do some collecting before it really starts raining um, for cheese making. So with the dairy goats, the reason we wanted them so much is because we use a lot of dairy. And cheese is one of the things that we go through a lot. And I, in my herbal research, have come across a few plants that grow on the property that I can use as a rennet substitute, a plant-based rennet for cheese making. So that's what we're going to do today. We are making rennet. So come along with me and I will show you what we're going to use. And here it is. This is what we're here for today. So thistle of any kind can be used for making a plant-based rennet. You could use bull thistle. You can use this. I believe this one is Canadian thistle. Um, don't take my word for it. But any thistle can be used for this. And what you want, you just want the petals. So the easiest thing to do is really just pick your flower buds off and then separate your petals later. Um, you do kind of need a lot of it um, to do a rennet batch. I guess if you're only doing one batch of cheese, you don't really need a lot of it. But I like to make a bigger batch and then freeze the extra that I don't use because the plant rennet doesn't last very long in the fridge. So I'm not gonna have thistles all much longer to be able to do this. So I'm gonna try and make a nice large batch. Here's a bunch more. I'm cutting it real close on my timing. Um, but as I said in a previous video, I have an extremely determined doling who just doesn't want to share any milk. I mean, you can't blame her, but um, I, I want to practice making more cheese. So I will get these picked and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, so I have picked my thistle and like I said, it's a little late in the season to be looking for thistle, but that's okay. So here's what I have. Um, and now the next thing I'm going to do, because the only part you want are the petals. So I'm just going to separate all of my petals. And I have a little dish here that I'm setting them all in. So I just want the petals. Yes. I have a little helper today. So... I'm just gonna, like I said, take all my petals out and then I'll show you the next step. So there's really no, I guess, set amount of thistles that you need. The ratio is basically one to one by volume. So whatever the volume you get of your packed thistle petals, um, you're gonna add the same volume of water to uh, inf infuse your petals with. So I'll get all these picked out and then we'll get back to you and show you what we end up with. All right, here is my packed thistle petals and it's about half a cup. So I'm gonna stick my petals in here, try and scrape them all out. They're a little moist because it's been rainy all day but I will rinse those out and then I'm going to add 
the same amount, of, approximately the same amount of water. So, like I said, we want to do one to one. Um, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Okay. And I'll go ahead and add my the rest of my water in here. So it doesn't seem like a lot, right? When you're looking at this, you're like, oh my gosh, how is, how is this going to work? Because what I'm going to do is not only do I have to simmer this, but I have to reduce it by half. And that's going to give you a very concentrated um, infusion. And that's what we want. So you might think, okay, this is labor intensive, but... All the, at least all the recipes I've come across don't call for a whole lot of rennet. Now, a caveat to that is that yes, the rennet that those recipes call for are usually animal rennet, um, but they even uh, suggest that there are vegetable substitutions and the commercial vegetable rennet amount is the same as the animal rennet so I'm assuming that whether it's animal or vegetable the amount doesn't differ now I have no idea what their concentration is when it comes to the plant rennets so this is where we just kind of have to play around with it a little bit but that'll be part of the next video like I said, most of these recipes call for a couple drops of rennet or a teaspoon or so. So let's turn this on. And I'm going to turn it on low and just let it simmer until it reduces by half. And then I'll get back to you. Okay, so you can strain your petals out once they've lost all of their color. So see these, they're no longer, they're almost ready. There's still a little bit of purple. So once the color has left your petals, then you can strain the petals out and finish simmering it down until it reduces by half. I like to just leave them in there until it looks like there's almost no water in them, but these petals soak up a lot of the water. So if you want to strain them, you can, otherwise you don't have to an extra step especially for such a small batch that I prefer not to take but you can